Hi, I'm Frank Henenlotter, and this is Splatter Cinema at the Plaza Theater. And uh, here it's a big movie palace, just like the kind I used to, you know, grew up on it, 42nd Street. And it's actually where the idea for this crazy movie came from, uh, Basket Case, because, uh, you know, I just lived and ate exploitation films on that street. And uh, this is, Basket Case is my little uh, tribute to them. I was going to say homage, but I don't want to sound fancy. So, uh... Was it difficult to make? <sighs> It was difficult to make only because we had no money whatsoever. So we'd shoot until we ran out of money, and then we'd, you know, I wouldn't even see what the footage looked like. And uh, I think the total amount of uh, money spent on the filming of the movie was $35,000. There's a scene you'll see in the movie where uh, uh, the, uh, one of the, the, the little Irish guy goes in the room, and he looks down at the floor, and you'll see a, a, a wad of money. And that was literally the budget we had for the next couple of months for this thing. It was just pathetic. <laughs> What's your favorite aspect of the film? As if I have one. I don't know. I don't know. I like, um, um, I don't know. I like the seediness of the film. I like the blood. I never threw as much blood around since as I did in this one. Um, and, uh, um, and I like Bilal. I think he's, <laughs> he's fun. <laughs> was the film a success? When oh, the film was a, was a, well, yeah. I mean, the film was, was very much so. It, initially, however, it was not. They, Analysis Films first put it out at midnight, and they decided that the film would be better. It would be better if it was more of a comedy and less of a horror film, so they took and they edited out all the gore. Well, the film doesn't work that way, and it was a disaster, and I tried to take my name off it, and I fought with them, and blah, blah, blah. They know better. Okay, fine. Finally, um, down in, uh, in Texas, uh, driving movie critic Joe Bob Briggs said uh, he wanted to show the premiere of the film down there, but he only would show the uncut version, not the version they had playing here in New York, which wasn't making any money, by the way. So they opened the uh, uncut version down in, in uh, Dallas, and they let it play, and it was selling out every night and selling out every night. And finally, very quietly, analysis removed all the other prints, the one in San Francisco, the one in New York, and, the, and they played the uncut version. I didn't even know it right away. It took a while to do it. And then once it, uh, once it was the uncut version playing around, well, the version, uh, the... Waverly Theater, which is now the IFC Theater, but the Waverly Theater at the time uh, played Basket Case at midnight for over two years. In fact, for the 200th, uh, at the uh, uh, second year birthday party, we had McDonald's hamburgers. Everybody got free McDonald's hamburgers, which you'll see in the film is Bilal's favorite, is Bilal's food of choice. <laughs> and then we also took it out. It, 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 it did well for me. It bought me this apartment. It, did, it, it sold all over. It still sells all over. I mean, I still get, I still make money off the damn thing. So that's how you measure a success. And it's got a huge cult following, which is, uh, I suppose, more. Uh, it would be better if I said that's more important than the money. But no, I need the dough, folks. I really do. Anyway, anything else? Uh, now have fun with the tagline about the tenant in room number is very pissed off. Whatever, improvise. <laughs> I have no idea what I was just asked to say. It's, so you know what? Let's let's just pretend that didn't exist, and I will introduce you now to the star of this film. Okay? Down here, down here. All right. And here is Belial, slowly rotting away. But then so am I. But but here's the old boy. There were two Belials used for the movie, and. Uh, this is the Bilal that does the stop-motion animation. And his, his eyes used to light up until one day I plugged him in and smoke came out of his ass. So that was the last we saw that. And he's kind of in bad shape. But uh, the other Bilal was a more of a hand puppet. And that one producer Ed Grivens has. Uh, but yeah, he's the little, little bastard that started my movie career. And I'll show you something else I got left over after 30 goddamn years. And in the kitchen here, this is the basket case blood that will not dry. I mean, it's this 30 year old, this is still this is the blood I use in the film. It will not dry. It's like the blob. There's no way to get rid of this thing. And this, we, we splashed an awful lot of this around in the film. Made of Cairo syrup and food coloring, so you can drink it, you can even swallow it, and you won't get sick. Um, and I just love to pour this on people. <laughs> so, uh, with that in mind, uh, I hope you enjoy the film, have a good time, 
Go see Bad Biology. <laughs>